Hey everybody, exciting news. I have finally, finally <laughs> moved some of our content to Patreon or Patreon, however you say it. I'm not sure which way is right. <laughs> but I've been asked for, oh God, I feel like a couple years now since I have so much online spinning education on YouTube, which is where I'm guessing you're seeing this right now. Uh, <laughs> And if I had a patron account, because there are other fiber arts creators on there, and I always said no because I didn't want to charge for my content, like most of it's free. So my uh, traditional, the way things have been set up is I have this YouTube account, which is clearly free. So uh, that's where 90% of any of our spinning content has gone, as well as some of our little ebooks that are free that you can get that we'll email out from our site. So everything was very much set up that way. And then we have, and they're still on our site, online courses that were paid, with the idea being that like if you enjoyed the free content but you needed it in a more, you know, in-depth, step-by-step, hold your hand, you wanted the extra coupon, you know, you wanted all the extra goodies that went with it, then you would get the course. And so we have the drop spindle course and the spin from scratch course. We've got several, the little mini course. <laughs> we have um, several little courses are all still on there, but the big dream yarn course I have, uh, which is the one that like said, my plan was that that was and how it's been successfully working for, God, how long has it been out? Like three years now. Um, how it's been successfully going was that it was one big lump sum and you bought it and you got lifetime access and then any new content that was added to that, like the dream yarn section was added, the mindfulness section was added, um, any new little small tweaks or changes or installments that were added, you just got for free once you had an enrollment to the course. So don't panic. If you already are enrolled in that course, absolutely nothing has changed. So if you have already purchased that from me, it is right where you left it. And I'm, of course, always happy to send you the login info if you lost it. So uh, nothing has changed for you, so do not freak out. <laughs> but if you are not somebody that has already purchased that course, and you are one of the many people who have asked me <laughs> if we were going to be on Patreon, or if I was going to have... The other question I would always get was like, hey really want your dream yarn course, can't afford it all right now. Do you have any sort of like monthly membership thing where you can, you know, for a less amount of money, get in and get out, like, you know, as it suited your schedule for spinning courses or spinning lessons and that content. And I always said no in the past, but now I, now I do. So now the answer to that is yes. So, and y'all, it took me, I'm not joking, a week to uh, take all of the content that was in that larger course and dismantle it and stick it in Patreon. Um, because it's set up in like individual post versus like just one big pretty web cage. So I've got it like, a, it looks good. It's functioning, all the information, all the coupons, all the extras, all the everything, all the uh, access to one-on-one -on -one help if you need it. All of that <laughs> has been moved. All the pictures and videos, all of the things are now on Patreon. And I'm going to cut to a little screen recording here in a minute, showing you the different options. And so the reasoning, I'm sorry, this is rambly. The reasoning behind this decision was not just to finally be able to answer yes to the people that asked me if I'm on Patreon, but to uh, most importantly, we are, I'm very excited about My Local Wool, which is our other website, and I'm excited about the growth that's over there, our small farm fiber boxes, I'm excited about being able to do more advertising, we have a newsletter, and I just love how, I mean, like I said, it's so exciting, everybody Brittany and I talk to are, are just really excited about the idea of having sort of a go-between between farmers, mills, and fiber people, and then the people who are wanting to craft with that. And so we feel like we have good momentum, but full disclosure, we are two moms of little children <laughs> working from home studios. And so the more we can afford to support Brittany, who is the director of My Local Wool, I am the owner, she is the director, um, because I have to put most of my limited brain power <laughs> towards making spinning videos and content and Crafty Housewife yarns, that the more funds we had to pay her 
to take such good care of our farming community and our crafting community and keep the web page running because it has to have, you know, the web page and the map software and the advertising and the email. I mean, it all adds up. So the more money we have that we can love on my local wool and afford for it to have more of a full-time staff with Brittany, who's already doing such an amazing job taking care of everybody and doing all of the social and tech stuff that like, you know, let's face it, most of our farmers and fiber artists don't have time to do. So she's doing that for them. And uh, so I was hoping that by putting my course that people already like online and giving that as like a fun gift to people who want to support us that that money could then go to, you know, like I said, it's all under one umbrella of Crafty Housewife Yarns and My Local Wool and that that money would all go where it needed to go and uh, could help keep everything rolling along for all of our big dreams and plans. So that's uh, my long reasoning for what's happening there. So I will now show you the screenshots of kind of what that looks like both on the My Local Wool website as well as Patreon on what that's going to, how you can get involved. Um, if you are on either the buying or selling end of this or a mill, we would love to hear from you. So please let us know what you think and I will uh, get to here. Magical screen share of the website now. I wanted to show you kind of what our Patreon account looks like currently since it is a... Uh, a new venture for us. This is if you, and I, I am probably saying it wrong. <laughs> I've called it patron, uh, like an old school patron of the arts. Um, but I've also heard it called Patreon and it is spelled a little funny. So forgive me. But if you are not familiar with the website, basically there are lots of different, uh, they're called creators, but basically artists in many different industries that we are now one of where you can, um, support at different small amounts what their ventures are, and then you get sort of like special, uh, you know, content or goodies or access. It's different for everybody. So I wanted to show you how ours was set up. So um, this should be what the page looks like when you get here. And it, we've lumped it together because it is all one business. It's just two websites. But uh, it, they work together very well. The Crafty Housewife Yarns as well as My Local Wool. And so it is all, there's not two separate ones. We've got currently three membership levels. One is $3 a month, uh, $10 a month, and $15 a month. And if you click on these show more, you know, I, I don't know. I may have way more information in here than people wanted. But like I said, I am new to this. And so I went with uh, more information versus less information. <laughs> so the first level at $3 is basically just helping us. This is Brittany, if you're wondering who this person is. This is Brittany, our director of My Local Wool, as well as office um, assistant with Crafty Housewife Yarns. And basically, we're just calling it the uh, Buy Brittany a Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, once a month, it just any extra income we have that we can spend with her doing things is just more content, more, you know, it's all in here, so I won't read it all to you, but just more things that she can do because she's the one that directly works with our farmers and our businesses. So if any of those people who are usually too busy taking care of their animals or their businesses to really be, you know, agonizing on all the online stuff, she's the person that they go to in order to like, hey, can you help me with this? Hey, can you help me get this fixed? Or I'm trying to promote this or sell this fleece or I'm looking to buy this. And she's the one that makes all those connections for everybody and makes sure the website's running well. So obviously the more office hours we can pay her, the, uh, you know, more she can help everybody. So that's what the first one is. And then I, uh, have taken for much agonizing in consideration my, uh, dream yarn course, which was my largest course that was selling on my, uh, website for, I think it was like $120 cause it's a whole bunch of information and we, the, my original idea with it and how it had been being sold. And if you already have it, nothing has changed on your end was that you would pay one time and have like a lifetime membership to any, the current content. And then we add content to it. Um, and I have actually removed that from my website. So it is no longer available to be purchased there. Even though if you have already purchased it, nothing has changed. Your access is all still there. But I uh, took that course and it took me like, God, a week 
to take all the information from that course and I have uh, broken it all into sections and added it as they're called post on here on uh, Patreon. And so at, and I made two different levels because I had people kept asking me on wanting kind of access to our course, but they were wanting it on like a monthly membership thing. So that's why I was like, well, this is perfect. I'll just do it here. So uh, the $10 one is the basic dream yarn course, and it tells you, like I said in here, what's in all the modules. I will not bore you with that now. And what all that involves, um, you know, the idea being going from you've never spun anything to being able to design and spin your own yarn. Um, so that, like I said, you can read about what all of that is. So, I mean, like I said, it is a ton of content just in the $10 module. The uh, $15 one it's 15 a month. It's everything that's in the first two, as well as um, I had a bunch of extra ebooks on sheep breed types, um, how to process more raw wool, our complete drop spindle course. So uh, that's also included in here, as well as the art yarn. That was a big add on on that was that was our art yarn section, which was one of our add ons we had on that, as well as our sort of yarn and fiber crafting for stress relief and mindfulness. Those are all that extra content is in that one. And like I said, I will once again uh, not bore you with that, but you know, here's all the uh, breakdown of what is in that. And then also the things from the first two sections. So if you are finding this because you follow me on YouTube and like my spinning videos and you are excited about, you know, learning yourself as well as, uh, you know, helping to support the fiber arts. My convoluted goal with this was to take this information and this course that I'd already been very successful with and I'm very proud of, and since it was my content, use that content for good <laughs> to not only help people with their craft, but also to uh, funnel funds into uh, my local wool website. So that was my, my plan, was to take this course that was something I was selling for, you know, on Crafty Housewife Yarns for like one large price and make it a membership service on Patreon to help support, um, you know, my local wool and our movement there. And uh, I did totally forget. So to go back in the $3 section, we are going to do some little votes for upcoming projects. Uh, we do have a newsletter that you will probably get extra information on that. So we've just started all of this, so I'm still getting those things up there. But most importantly, we have a new uh, offering just because people in our Facebook group had been kind of asking where you can, if you are part of this $3 group or any of the other ones, but starting with the $3 group, we are happy to list you on the My Local Wool Map as either a farmer mill, fiber artist, blogger, and people were also wanting something kind of called a, like a fiber friend or fiber arts ambassador, basically where if you lived in an area and you were a spinner and a crafter, even in just in a totally personal way, not in like a business way, where people could find you if you wanted to be able to set up like local spinning groups or get togethers or just somebody that was new and needed help. If you would be willing to, uh, you know, be sort of a contact person in your area for the fiber arts, um, like I said, even if you were just a hobbyist, we would absolutely be thrilled to put you on the map so that you can help others. So that is also, um, you know, we would be happy to get you on the map with the $3 level and we will get it set up where I guess when you join, you will get some sort of message asking if you would like that and then we'll get your information. So uh, that is the different tiers. Let's see. Like so this is kind of the back end, so it may look a little different. But post. Let's see if I can show you the post. Aha. So the way patrons set up, I'm still kind of learning. Like I said, this is definitely, I took something that was a full course on a website and broke it into lots of little sections <laughs> on this website. So there are lots of different, basically, posts which have images. And so a lot of the posts all have links to where you would download things. We also have exclusive coupons where you can get fiber from Crafty Housewife Yarns at a discount or subscriptions, which was something that's just exclusive to our, you know, our course members. Um, 
Here's our drop spindle core. So like I said, so once you unlock this, you will have all these different posts. And I believe you can sort them yourself on if you want them to be sorted from oldest to newest or newest to oldest. <laughs> and as far as the course goes, and I do have it in here somewhere, it would be best to start at the oldest post and then go to the newest ones because I did, yeah, you see there's a whole bunch of them and I will be adding to them. Um, I've already got some bat webinars planned for spinning fiber bat techniques. But uh, as you are going through them, I'm sorry, it's, uh, you'd want to start at the bottom and work your way up, and that would be the chronological order of the course. But that's what how this site looks. Like I said, it is a bit different than what I'm used to, but there's all the, yeah, so some of them have like embedded videos like this that were part of our course, and then others have, like I said, the kind of, that's like an ebook. that's one of our ebooks. And where you're clicking for download. So that is how it's set up. And we are excited that you wanted to check that out. If you were new and you were wondering what my local wool is, this is our website as it currently looks. And so we do have a new section. We haven't changed it too much. We have a couple new sections I wanted you to see. So first off being... Uh, like I said, as I'd mentioned previously, we'd had people wanting to be listed on the map that weren't necessarily businesses, but they were wanting to be able to find other, you know, fiber artists local to them or be available for other people to find socially um, and just as a, like a fiber arts contact. So we did add this new section here that you can read about. And like I said, we do not list your exact address unless you happen to be like a storefront and you want your exact address listed. For the map to work, we just need a general zip code. So you can give us kind of as much or as little information as you would want. So if you wanted people to find you on Facebook, we can, you know, put find me on Facebook this way, or if you wanted to have an email address, people could email you at, you can kind of provide as much or as little information as you would want on that. So I definitely, I know privacy is an issue for me as well. But like I said, for the map to work, we do just need a general zip code for like the city that you are in, just so that people in that city, you would pop up as located there. But we definitely don't need to display unless you request us to, you know, more details than that. So if that's something you would be interested in, um, like I said, we're trying to set it up more social for people to find. Um, you can either, like I said, join our Patreon account on any of the levels. Or if you didn't want to go through Patreon, you can just go to the Support My Local Wool through our website and uh, you can select what you want to do there and just check out. So one is not better than the other, just, you know, I felt like some people already had Patreon accounts, so that would be easier for them if that was something they wanted. That's also set up on a every month thing, whereas this is every three month, and this is just through our website. So the same thing can be accomplished, which is supporting my local wool community and being on the map if you would like, but you can go about it in either you know, either way. So that was one new part. We also have, yeah, so we did add down here about Patreon, and we also have an email list that we send out our newsletter to, which we're doing monthly, and if we have more demand, we will do more than monthly. And like I said, that's a lot of what comes in with being able to pay Brittany hourly, is right now we can afford to do monthly, because <laughs> it does take a good bit of time to get all the information from everybody as far as who has just finished shearing, and pictures, and who's looking for what, and what's for sale, and, uh, you know, to get all of that together, and to get it sent out to everybody. There really is a lot of time and work that goes into helping promote your business, um, like I said, both through the newsletter, as well as on social media. And she does a great job with that. So we are encouraging people and we do have things set up all over, you know, the internet and social media, driving customers and spinners and lovers of the fiber arts to be on our email list so that we can use that to promote. So that is also this new section down here.